In this video, I'll be talking about electric flux. Electric flux is a measurement of the electric field passing through a given area. In other words, it is directly proportional to the number of electric field lines passing through a given surface area. Let me explain this one first and then we'll go back to the equation for calculating the electric flux. Let's say you have a charged plane, the charged plane, all right? Due to this charged plane, the electric field is always perpendicular to the surface, always perpendicular to the surface. And then you have an area here, an area which is held parallel to the surface. This surface and this charge area are parallel and this surface here is perpendicular to the this charge plane now we are now interested in calculating what is the electric flux through this area and what is the electric flux through this area okay so first how are you going to do it first let's draw the direction of the electric field so due to this charge, the, the electric field is perpendicular to the area. Okay, and, the, and this is the direction because due to the positive charge, it is away from the, the charge, away from the charged plate. Now, so in this case, what you have to do, how many electric field lines pass through this one? In other words, what is the electric field passing through this area? So if you know the electric field at this point, then you just have to calculate the, elect the flux, the total flux through this area is electric field times the area here in this case the electric field and the area are in the same direction the electric field this is the direction of the electric field and this is the the direction of the area vector so this gives you the direction of the let's say electric field and the area vector are also in the same direction so cosine theta in this case is one because theta is equal to zero degree now, if you look at this surface here, this surface, for this surface, the area, the area vector is, this is the area vector, that's the area vector, and this is the electric field direction, this is the electric field direction. So the angle, let me draw with the another color. This is electric field direction. The angle between the electric field and the uh, area is 90 degree. So the flux passing through this one would be zero. Why it is zero? Because cosine 90 degree is equal to zero. So if you look by definition, flux is E A times cosine theta theta is 90 degree so cosine 90 degree is zero so flux is zero that's how you calculate flux but now in this case uh, in this case at each point at every point electric field and area are parallel to each other so that's how you calculate the electric flux for this surface and that's how you calculate the electric flux for this surface let me uh, give you another example now let's say that you have the area which is which makes an angle. This is the 90 degree and this is the zero degree. If it is in, in between, then the way you calculate is the flux is E A cosine theta. You again calculate the electric field, you calculate the area, and whatever angle is given, just multiply that. 
that's how you calculate the electric flux so this is the formula for calculating the electric electric flux e is the magnitude of the electric field a is the area and theta is cosine theta where theta is the angle between the electric field and the area vector the flux is also defined as the the dot product of electric field vector and the area vector and this dot product is exactly this quantity here okay and the unit of electric flux is in newton meter square per coulomb okay i think this is okay let me let me talk a little bit about um the electric flux here oh, you see you have just like i mean how do you fold sometimes a paper here so in this case the whatever the flux is passing through this side this side of the paper and this side of the paper is exactly the same the, the total flux whatever flux to passes through this area is coming out of this area so the total flux passing through this surf this area is exactly equal to this area because the same field is passing through passing through the both area so the flux passing through each area is exactly the 